So starting from the beginning, this is what, as I understand this uh, power supply to work. Uh, on the input, you've got a MOV and a PTC for protection. Um, you've got a common mode choke for noise suppression. You've also got a couple of um, mains capacitors, again, for noise suppression. Uh, you've got a bridge rectifier to uh, produce a DC voltage. Um, and then you've got an oscillator circuit, which is um, driving the transformer. Uh, that This transistor here is obviously what's driving the transformer. And I believe the oscillation is produced by uh, feedback winding on the, uh, the transformer itself, because there appears to be two windings on this side. So I believe that's what's producing the oscillation. And then uh, on the secondary side, um, we've got a, can you see it very well there? There's a small transistor here, signal transistor, uh, which I believe is uh, switching on when the uh, output caps are charged to the correct voltage. Um, which is then switching on this opto isolator, which uh, disables the oscillation of of the uh, transformer. So that's what's providing the regulation. Um, that seems like a very big diode, uh, and there's only one of them. But um, all in all, I think that's how it works. Um, there are a couple of questions though, and I'd be interested if anyone could answer them for me. Um, firstly, why have we got such a massive cap on the input side? This blue one, it's uh, 400 volts, 47 microfarads on the input side. Um, let's see if I can show you where that connects to on the other side. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, go it's going across these two rather thick tracks, I believe. Possibly those two are there. Um, I'm just a little bit confused um, about why, why that's needed on the input side, such a large one. Um, obviously the spark gaps on the input are, are good. But again, I'm confused why there's a spark gap across the isolation. Uh, why, why would you have that? Uh, and why would you have this silk screen across the isolation barrier and then a gap? I mean, the gap makes sense for the um, spark gap because you, you don't want to give anything for the spark to jump across. But why, why, would, why would you have this silk screen here in the first place? Um, and the other question is, um, on the input side, why is, what's that? Why is there a ger germanium diode there? I think that's a geranium diode. That seems a bit odd. And it's, uh, it's right, right, right at the input. Um, so, yeah, that's the uh, mains coming in there. Um, and it jumps across to the bridge rectifier. Is that a fuse? Possibly. Um, but but then you've got the PCC um, and the MOV. So why why would you use a geranium diode as a um, as a fuse? It just seems stupid. So um, I'm not really sure what that's all about um, but having I, I do believe that this is a well-designed power supply the, um, the transformer looks very nice very nice indeed um, you can see the insulation on the secondary windings there is very thick um, and then the caps seem to be good quality as well and it's got all the requisite protections etc uh, so it seems like a good power supply but um yes i have questions i'd i'd like to know what that geranium diode is doing why there's such a big
cap on the uh, on the main side of it, and why is there a spark gap across the uh, isolation path? Uh, that all strikes me as just a, a little bit unusual. <laughs> so if uh, anyone's got any answers to that, I'd uh, I'd like to know what they are. Anyway, thanks.